I got myself a new headset. Well, thanks to Steel Series. Anyway, they sent me a new headset. So let's get into the review. The Steel Series 9H headset was my first very, very first headset that I got from Steel Series, and I've been using it ever since. But this time they sent me a Sims Edition headset. I'm not sure the actual name. I don't think it has a name, but it's the Sims 4 Edition headset from Steel Series with color shifting lights, depending on what way you can sync it with your Sims game, um, and it will change with their mood. There is also a microphone built into it. Little thing on the side. It doesn't extend, doesn't descend. It is a microphone. And I'll just turn off the light with the Steel Series 3 engine. So I can do steady and put it to black. So it turns off the light. I would recommend that you get this headset if you're starting off. It is very cheap and reliable. It's got its strong durability for a plastic headset. Pretty strong. Uh, it's got customizable earmuffs where you can change them, interchange them around. And it's got a mute button on the side for your microphone as well. So you can mute it whenever you want. You can also extend and destend the headset to make it fit wherever you want. And if you've got the Steel Series 3 engine in it, you can go to In The Sims Game and Sims 4 in game, and it'll change whatever way. If your Sim is angry, it'll change to red. If it's happy, green, etc., etc. They didn't just send me the headset, they also sent me a mouse, and we're going to get into that now. So the mouse is the exact, works nearly the same. If I get up the Steel Series engine right now, you'll be able to see that you can interchange a lot of things with it, as well as you can macro all the buttons. So it's got one button here on the side, like any gaming MMO mouse. That will work perfectly with your Sims. It's got a middle button, click, and it's got the two side buttons. You can also change the sensitivity on the mouse. You can turn the sensitivity all the way up to uh, 1600 CPI or all the way down to 400 CPI. You can all also do the po polling rate. You can have it to 500 or to 1000 or 125. Now for the light changing color, it isn't actually the same as the other one. It just stays a solid green. Well, you can actually change it to technically any color, but it doesn't do a color shift. So I can change it to a blue, to a red, or to a gold. Now I like the gold, so I'm going to keep it on that. Um, you can also use it. It's very, 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 very sensitive. Unlike my um, other mouse, my razor, not my razor, my Steel Series rival. It has the same build as it, but it's 100% plastic and it isn't as durable. It also has the two mouse sensor pads on the bottom, as well as a laser. Who uses ball anyway? Um, all in all, I'd give these two products equally together a 9, no, an 8 out of 10, just because of the fact that they are plastic, and they're not steel, and the fact that the microphone on this isn't great quality, but it, it is pretty good to use. So if you're looking to get your hands on these products, I would check the link below to www.steelseries.com. Thank you very much to Georgina for sending me these, and I will see you guys in the next review. If you want to win this mouse, all you have to do is leave a comment below on why you want the mouse and what games you'll be playing it with. And let me know what you think of the channel. Three things in one comment. Get to it, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Hope you're having an amazing day. Enjoy the weekend, and I'll see you in the next video.